Hey guys, Crypto Dad here, and today I'm going to show you how to get started using Coin Ledger crypto tax software. Now, Coin Ledger is an integrated system that allows you to connect all of your cryptocurrency exchanges and wallets so that you can track and trace all of your trades and transfers. I'll let you know that when you make a transfer from an exchange to your wallet, that's just a transfer. That is not a taxable event. The only events that you get taxed for are when you buy and sell crypto. But in order to accurately calculate your capital gains and losses, you need to include your wallet data so that when you make a transfer off an exchange to your wallet, it doesn't get counted as a sale. That's why we need to connect everything. We need to connect our wallets and we need to connect our cryptocurrency exchanges. So uh, Coin Ledger will help you generate the specific tax forms for capital gains, making filing your taxes so much easier. So let's jump in. I'm just going to show you how to get everything connected and set up so that you don't have to dread the tax man. So let's jump in. Today's video is brought to you by Coinbase, the most trusted place where people can buy, sell, and use crypto. Hey guys, Crypto Dad here, and I am a staunch advocate of self-custody. After all, crypto moves money forward. It allows you to send value across the room or across the world with equal ease. But just storing crypto in a wallet and forgetting about it is not enough. In order to implement any overall crypto strategy, you have to learn how to manage your crypto. And part of that management involves a trusted on-ramp and off-ramp for your fiat currency. I've been using Coinbase since 2017. I find it easy to use and it integrates seamlessly with all of my bank accounts. It allows me to make quick purchases and quick cash outs when the need arises. When I first started using Coinbase, they only sold Bitcoin, Ethereum, and Litecoin. Well, they've come a long way since then. Now, there are literally hundreds of cryptocurrencies that you can buy and sell on Coinbase. And with tax season fast approaching, I found Coinbase to be one of the easiest platforms to integrate with all of the major cryptocurrency tax software services. Coinbase makes tax season easy by providing personalized guides to help you understand what you owe and seamless integration with tax software to simplify filing your crypto taxes. And if you sign up for Coinbase using my link below, you can get $20 worth of free Bitcoin when you sign up and make your first trade. So enough procrastination. Let's get our crypto taxes done. So this is the screen that you're greeted with when you first land on their homepage. So the first thing you'll do, of course, is get yourself signed up. So uh, I'll click the sign up button here. I'm just going to use email. All right. And that's really all you need to do to create an account. All right. So uh, you're going to choose your country and currency. Uh, I'm doing taxes, so I'll choose that. And they also have a one-on-one -on -one service that you can use to help you through this if you uh, need that. Uh, I'll go ahead and do it myself. But notice here, uh, they've got Coinbase, so it's gonna, even if you set up an account with an email, you can still integrate Coinbase very easily. I'll hit Coinbase here, and uh, I'll just hit Next, just to keep it simple. They're gonna send me a link in my email. I'll just verify that. All right, and here are the uh, options. Uh, I could export my trading history if I wanted to do that. And then I could simply import that uh, trading history file here. Or I could do all of my Coinbase transactions manually. Uh, but for someone like me, uh, this is a no starter. I don't want to spend all that time. So it's I'm just going to do the auto import. Right. I'll click sync transactions and then it's going to just ask me to sign into my Coinbase account. Pretty simple. Right. I'm already signed into my Coinbase account in my browser. So all I really need to do is allow access. At this point, you might be asked to log into your account um, if you not, aren't already. 
Uh, I'll just click allow access. And this could take a few minutes, but this is going to automatically import all of my uh, buys and sells, all of my uh, deposits and withdrawals uh, to make it just simple to integrate with my Coinbase. Now, for a lot of you out there that are just using Coinbase for crypto and you don't even use wallets, you're done. That's all you need to do is just import your Coinbase and it will be able to help you calculate all of your uh, capital gains. This is a special tax form that uh, they can fill out for you. And then um, all you have to do is just download it, you know, as a PDF and you can take it over to your uh, tax accountant and boom, it's done. See, so uh, all of my uh, buys, sells, withdrawals, deposits are all automatically integrated in. But of course, I have a lot more than just that. I'm going to add a new account. And uh, notice here they have all of these uh, different uh, platforms that you can use, like Binance US, if you have a Binance US account or a Kraken account, they have all of those, right? So you can integrate with them as well. Uh, they're not quite as easy. Uh, with Kraken, you're going, they're going to give you instructions on going over. Well, let's see. L it looks like they've got auto import on Kraken too. Let's see what happens there. Okay, yeah, they're gonna uh, they're gonna give me uh, some guidelines on doing an API key, and this is something you have to do over in Kraken, right? Uh, they'll give you a guide here with some instructions on uh, the what they even have videos, uh, and they have the walkthrough. You'll sign into your Kraken account, and then uh, they'll tell you where to go to create an API. Uh, which is basically, it means application programmer interface. It just gives them access to your transaction history, read only access. And it doesn't give them any power to make withdrawals or deposits or trades uh, in your account, right? This is just a uh, account history that they need, right? Uh, but I won't go into that because that's a little more complicated, all right? Uh, but let me show you how you do a crypto wallet. I'm going to start with Bitcoin. Uh, Bitcoin can be a little tricky because the way Bitcoin wallets work, right? They're going to show you the import guide. Uh, the, the reason that Bitcoin wallets can be tricky is that when you're using a, a standalone Bitcoin wallet, whenever you uh, transfer Bitcoin into the wallet, the next time you ask to make a, a deposit into the wallet, it's going to generate a unique Bitcoin sending address. This is built into Bitcoin. This is the way the Bitcoin wallets work to help preserve your privacy. So every time you make a transfer, the Bitcoin wallet will generate a brand new address, which is great uh, for your privacy, but a little but it but it makes it difficult for crypto tax software uh, because if you've been buying Bitcoin on a regular basis and moving it into your wallet, uh, you're going to have hundreds of addresses. And instead of having to put in all of those, there is one unifying Bitcoin address called the XPUB key. All right. And so you can see you can use their guide if you want to. Uh, but I'll show you how to get the XPUB key. It's not that difficult. All right. Basically, uh, you just go into your accounts in Ledger Live. We go into the Bitcoin wallet here. And uh, in order to get the XPUB address, what we want to do is go up here to the settings. It's that little wrench icon. And uh, we'll just pull down advanced here. Now, uh, your XPUB address is right here. So we're just going to grab that. I'm highlighting it. It's a little hard to see, uh, but I have just highlighted it. And then I can just uh, copy that XPUB address, right? I don't want the uh, quotation marks. I just want what starts with XPUB and ends with the last letter, right? So I'll go back over here to my import and I'll paste in that XPUB address. And there it is. Now I can double check that. Uh, H was my last letter. So I can confirm that H was the last letter here. The first few letters are XPUB. So uh, we'll confirm that we got everything and we didn't accidentally cut it off. Of course, it'll probably reject it if it's not properly a properly formatted XPUB address, but that's just a little eyeball. We'll hit Connect Wallet. 
and now it it can get all of the uh, deposits and withdrawals that I've made from my Bitcoin wallet. As I mentioned earlier, when you transfer Bit when you transfer any crypto, including Bitcoin, from one place to another, you don't get taxed on that. So you want to integrate those deposits and withdrawals from your wallet so that the tax software will know that they are not buys and sells, right? If they see Bitcoin coming in from somewhere it doesn't know, it just counts it as you made a purchase. If it sees you withdrawing Bitcoin from an exchange uh, without knowing where you're putting it, it thinks you're selling it. So in order to make sure it uh, properly it properly categorizes your withdrawals and, and deposits, you need to integrate your Bitcoin wallet. All right, and there you go. So these are all the withdrawals and deposits from my Bitcoin wallet. If you have uh, more than just a Bitcoin wallet, we'll hit add account there. You can use this ledger link uh, to uh, integrate some of the other wallets that you may have. Uh, they're gonna start with Ethereum. So just go over to Ledger Live and go to uh, your Ethereum account. And uh, in, in this case, all we need to do is receive, get the address, and there it is. Just copy it into our clipboard. We'll go back over here and paste it in. That's all you really need. It's just an external public address. All right, uh, it also notices that I've been using some of the alt chains, which is pretty cool. So I'm going to agree to let it uh, query those other alt chains like uh, Binance Smart Chain, Arbitrum, uh, Gnosis, Phantom. Uh, so automatically pull in all of the alt chain activity on that address. These are my EVM chains, right, on this uh, address. So I'll agree to that. I've got quite a bit of activity. I've had this one for quite a while. I'll hit sync. It's going to pull in all of the transactions. See, it's, it sees my AVAX. So while you're waiting for that to sync, you can start adding more accounts. So let's do a Solana account. So if we go into the Solana account uh, and, get, and do the receive, we'll get our Solana address. Pretty easy. We'll go back here, tell it we want to add a Solana wallet. We can do the auto import and just paste in the address of our uh, Solana wallet. So I get a lot of questions. Well, how do I do this crypto? How do I do that crypto? It's pretty simple. Uh, you just tell it which crypto you want and then you go to the wallet and do the receive to get the receiving address of the wallet. That receiving address uh, for most cryptos never really changes like it does with Bitcoin. So when you're using a Solana wallet, you're going to have the same receiving address um, always, right? So all of the transactions on that wallet are going to uh, be connected to that receiving address. All right, so I've got my accounts uh, synced up here. I've got Coinbase. I've got my Bitcoin wallet. I've got my EVM chains synced up. And then uh, Solana is still syncing. It might take a bit. Uh, once we've got all that, we can move over here to transactions. And here is where uh, you're going to see the transactions categorized. Right there, you see there's quite a few of them here that they've categorized. Uh, this is a buy, a withdrawal, a buy, a withdrawal. Uh, notice here that I have some missing cost basis uh, because I have so many. I have uh, review 52. If it can't figure out uh, where something came from, whether it's uh, you know, a transfer from an unknown wallet uh, or a purchase of some kind that it, you, know, you didn't make through uh, Coinbase or somewhere, um, anything that's kind of left hanging, uh, they're going to calculate it as a zero cost basis. This is good news and bad news. The good news is that it's going to overestimate your taxes. So you don't have to worry about Uncle Sam coming after you. But it's also going to overestimate your taxes. Um, so you'll pay more taxes than you really need to. So it's in your best interest to troubleshoot that uh, so that you can give it the exact cost you paid when you made your purchase. Right? So you can go into troubleshoot here. right? And then you can uh, click here 
and it shows some outflows here. So uh, basically I can edit the transaction here and then I can choose the type of transaction that it is. You can change the categorization here uh, manually and uh, just tidy it up a little bit. This is going to require a little bit of detective work on your part. You're going to have to go back uh, to the transaction and uh, figure out exactly what happened on your own. Maybe check your wallet and uh, figure out what you were doing at that time. Maybe that was an incoming transaction. Um, in my case, a lot of those are incoming uh, affiliate revenue. I, some, some affiliates pay me in cryptocurrency. I could just categorize this one as income. Right, because uh, I had some incoming Bitcoin and uh, we'll classify it as income. Right, so it makes it really easy to uh, clean up all the loose ends. Right, and then when we're uh, done with that, we'll go over to tax reports. And then uh, you're going to have to get set up with a plan in order to uh, see all these capital gains. Right, so in order to do that, we'll hit upgrade to unlock and then we'll choose a plan. Uh, they've got me uh, as at estimate of $99 for this uh, because uh, it's a thousand transactions. Um, if you have a lot, then uh, you would uh, need to use the pro plan. Uh, these are just based on the number of trades and transfers that you're trying to uh, calculate here. Uh, you can also pay for uh, an online uh, expert to review everything. And then you can even uh, pay for a forward plan if you want to, to help integrate your taxes, taxes going forward. And uh, they're going to generate this IRS form 8949 for you. Um, like I said, this is a, uh, an official tax form that you can present to your uh, tax preparer, whether it's your tax accountant in person, or maybe you want to integrate this with, um, uh, turbo tax or something like that but that's basically it right you uh, you're going to connect all of your exchanges and your wallets uh, you'll clean up any loose ends in your transactions and then you'll generate your tax report uh, for your capital gains that you can use to help file your taxes and integrate all of your crypto tap capital gains and or losses. So if you haven't done so already, don't forget to claim your $20 worth of free Bitcoin when you sign up for Coinbase and make your first trade using my link below. Also, you can get a 10% discount on Coin Ledger when you sign up using my link and my checkout code. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you'd like to subscribe to the channel, I would appreciate it. When you subscribe, there's a little bell that you can click that will allow you to be alerted whenever I post new content. Once again, thanks for joining me and hope to see you again soon.